to our neighbors from Stony Point for this exciting contest between two fine schools. Tonight's event provides a showcase for the talent and skills of the students from each school throughout friendly competition, which is the theme of all of our scholastic events. The visiting teams and fans are our guests. Please show courtesy and good sportsmanship. Officials are assigned by mutual agreement of both schools, and the ruling should be respected by all. Sportsmanship should be shown by all spectators, no matter which team they are backing. The game will be conducted according to the rules of the University Interscholastic League. The use of alcoholic beverages or Ill illegal drugs is prohibited on, on school property, as well as the possession of illegal weapons. The use of all tobacco products is also prohibited on school property. Thank you for your attendance and enjoy the ball game between these nine schools. Now for the starting lineup for the visiting Stony Point Tigers. As we go into the starting lineups, we're still waiting to get some microphones in here, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're having a little audio difficulty. Batting second, shortstop number two, Brandon Green. Batting third, playing right field number 18, Brandon Gaspisha. Batting fourth and catching number three, Gary Rain. Batting fifth and left field number 23, Cameron Cook. Batting sixth and first base, number five, Michael Patrick. Batting seven, the third baseman, number 11, Alex Laverde. Batting eight, the second base, number seven, Ivan Baiga. Batting nine, the designated hitter, number 15, Cedric Lozoto. And the pitcher, number 20, Lawrence Laura. Number seven, Dayton Bombarder. 
just like that we finished the national anthem and we're right at seven o'clock game time welcome to vista ranch high school and tonight's ball game having a little audio difficulty so i apologize for that we uh kept kept the audio going all the way through for the test and to the start of the game and we might be changing some mics out as we go as our play-by-play uh, -play. Bob Leach is not able to hear me in his earpiece so I apologize if you're listening and you're having a hard time hearing us or there might be some dead space we got a camera going if you're uh, able to get to a uh, computer or your phone Lead off hitter getting ready to step into the box, and that's uh, Count Crawford or Cade Crawford, excuse me. And number four, the right handed hitter, will be leading off the ball game for Stony Point Tigers. Kyle Brown looked a little good warming up, looked like he was hitting his spots pretty good. Kyle Brown's ready to to go, checking the defensive alignment. Everybody in a normal position. And here's the first pitch. Swung, high pop up to second baseman. Short right field and he has it. And it's uh, one out. Cody so looked pretty good last week defensively. He's there to make that. Uh, look like right field did not call him off on that. But Another right-handed uh, hitter coming up. That's number two. That's the shortstop, Creek. There's the first pitch, and it's high inside for ball one. Kyle Brown gets a signal from the stretch. And here's the pitch. High inside. Ball one. Ball two. Excuse me. Everybody in a Would appropriate say. positions right now defensively. So no adjustments made. Here's the next pitch. Outside. Ball three. Three and oh the count. Second hitter in the first inning for Stony Point. Here's the next pitch, and it's strike one. Right down the middle, Bob. You know, you always wonder why you can do that with three <laughs> strikes. You know, I don't know why more coaches There's another don't. strike. So the count goes full, three and two, with two outs here in the bottom or top of the first inning. Best pitch you're going to get, 3-0 count. Foul ball down the right left field line and uh, out of play. Coach gave good chase, but just wasn't there. Well, this early in the ball game, I would think he's going to try to challenge him. Curve ball fouled off behind home plate. Counts remains three and two. Two outs in the bottom or top of the first inning. Full count. Nobody on base. Here's the next pitch, and it's oh, he ball got four. Him. Yes, he did. Oh, it's he, he not came. ball. He tried, and that was a high, high pitch. High inside, and he and he could not check his swing. He came around. Brush pitch, really uh, high inside, and the. Uh, the attempt to swing at it uh, actually tipped it off or, or missed it. There's the ground ball to the second baseman. He's got it. They throw to first, and that's low. And safe at first base is the number three hitter.
That's Brian Gracita. 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 <laughs> yeah, they're uh, it's the always name. those those names that line up that take a little work. Number three coming to the plate, the catcher Perry Rains is a uh, left-hand hitter. Two outs. Runner on first base. Takes his lead. Brown gets his signal. In the stretch, there's a throw, and it's a strike on the outside corner. Breaking pitch, and uh, count goes 0-1. There he goes for second base, and the throw, Got him. and he's out of there. Yes, sir. That was a heck of a throw down. It was a great throw. Right on the pot. Jake Wagner throwing it down right on the money. So at the end of the uh, top of the first inning, we have a 0-0 score. And the Rangers coming to the plate. That four-hole hitter definitely will look like a four-hole hitter. Groshen on deck circle warming up. We're not able to go to the commercial breaks at this time until we get some of this equipment changed out and get uh, the Vipe crew back up here. But uh, Lawrence Laura is on the mound for the Tigers of Stony Point. Perry Rains catching. So right now he's not, but uh, he will be. Warm up uh, catcher in there, taking the pitches. We have a wind out of the south southeast. Talking to one of the rotating uh, catchers for Stony Point before the game. We used to play some ball with them and. Uh, He's saying that the well, pitcher that was going tonight's a sophomore. Had, had to get his gear on. Yeah. And he squats behind home plate, take the pitches. Leading off of the Rangers will be number three, the shortstop, Owen Groach. Number two. Yeah. Number two. Sorry about that. Wrote down the wrong number, folks. Sorry. Owen's been doing pretty good with his contact with the ball over the past couple tournaments. He's found his way on base quite a bit. Well, you will come to the plate. Right-handed hitter. Check with the third base coach for the signals, and you'll be stepping into the box. Laura gets his signals, and he's ready with the windup. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. Inside corner, good pitch. Taking the black. The second pitch high, and it's ball one. One ball, two strike. One ball, one strike. Here's the wind up, and it's outside for ball two. Two and one. Nobody out. Bottom of the first inning. Rangers lead off hitter. Fouls it back to the screen. 
By the way, it's uh, been a renovation here at the ballpark. Yes, sir. New backstop. And all the uh, steel screen has uh, been replaced with netting. There's the ball down the foul left field, and it's two and two. Special yeah. thanks to everybody that past couple of years that have donated on the fundraisers. It's a beautiful backstop. Yeah, makes makes it uh, a great deal better than it has been. Foul ball off the right foul side, and uh, count remains two and two. Oh, and just up there battling and battling. Been doing that all year. Well, he's got a good eye, keeps his eye on the ball. There's the next pitch inside, ball three, and it's going to be two and two count. Seventh pitch at the at-bat. Here's the next pitch, and it's line ball uh, into right, left center, and the center fielder makes a diving catch in the sh to the sh short part of the the green. Jake okay. Wagner up to bat, number 19. Uh, exciting sophomore. I mean, started with us last year on varsity before our season was cut short. And just an awesome, awesome ball player. Oh, he steps in and he's ready. Here's the first pitch. Curveball inside, ball one. Probably one of the best, better contact hitters I've seen. His hand-eye coordination is unbelievable. Play multiple positions. Law ready with a second pitch. It's outside, ball two. That was a nice catch with the center fielder. That it was. The ball was dropping. Uh, it was cutting into the wind, and it kind of dropped. Here's the next pitch, strike one. So we, we right got we had about a what 20 20 mile an hour gust coming in from left field so anything hit up in that direction it, it's going to get knocked it died. out. I thought it was hit well but yet uh, cutting into that wind it just it died. All That's right. going to get a piece of it. Got a piece of uh, the hitter. Hit by pitch so Jake Wagner's going to head on down to first base where he's going to get pinched for. Oh, he's all right. He just looks, nicked him, nick, like nicked an arm. Jackson Brendelmeyer, which tried out two hours before tryouts, came up to to tryouts, but he is a uh, he is a uh, just not probably he is the fastest kid on the team. So he's uh, going to pinch run for Jake Wagner, our catcher. Brings tiny gun up to the plate. Tiny gun. Big right-handed hitter. Already hit one out this year when we were at Westlake. Here's the pitch right down the middle to right one. Runner on first, one out. Bottom of first inning. Benomar is a nice sized young man. Inside ball. Uh, Get to the shortstop, across the first, and he's out. That hit to shortstop is not going to turn two with Jackson. Looked like the hit and run might have been on right there. It was. Uh, uh, and Jackson certainly like had the steal at least. He was yep. on the move. So Jackson, being that speedster we were talking about, I mean, he just he was going into second base about the same time the shortstop was fielding the ball. So with two outs. Here's the first pitch, outside and low, ball one. Here's the uh, next pitch, and there it's a strike. That's the kind of pitch that <laughs> you the uh oh, we tried to swing at that. You know, Kyle, he, he just seems like he hits later in the count anyway. But, uh, I mean, 
just when you say that, it'll hit the first pitch that's thrown to him. And the next pitch is inside and low for a ball. Tell you what, he was hitting, hitting last week in the tournament last week. The next pitch is outside to throw to second, and the runner's back in time. Good luck on that one. <laughs> He's just quick. If you're watching the video feed, you can see him bouncing around out there. The minute that catcher popped that ball, he was back sliding into second, so not even close. Laurel takes his sign, and he's set. There's a pitch and rep up the middle. The shortstop gets a glove on it, but he can't hang on. There's and that speed, a folks. Run comes in from second base. The shortstop uh, field of the ball came up and threw wildly to home plate and went up against the uh, backstop. We got a pinch runner. That ball was hit right up the middle, came off the glove of the shortstop, and Jackson Brennelmeyer was already rounding third base. And uh, yes, that was an error at home. There was a, a throw error on the throw back to home, which brought that single, that RBI single, over to uh, second base. Well, and uh, that uh, allowed him to go to second. But the runner scored on the base hit. Yes, sir. Here's the first pitch, and it's high, swung out, and missed. Number four. Matt Foley, another hitter that's been hitting fantastic. I mean, their first few scrimmages, I think, his on base was, I want to say it was at least 85%. A lot of walks there, but uh, he's Laura's been hitting. The next past offering, season. inside and low for a ball one. Kyle Brown. Matt Foley is yes. a junior. We definitely, those sunglasses are definitely reflecting back up here like a, you'd imagine a lure going through the water for a bass to see. Number, high, <laughs> number five hitter, Matthew Foley uh, lifts one to right field. Right fielder's under it and takes it for the third out. And at the end of one, it's one for the Rangers, zero for Stony Point Tigers. Yes, Jake Wagner's a sophomore, Hank Howard's a sophomore, and Alex, Alex Brendelmeyer's a sophomore, our center fielder. Fullback, yep. Normally we'd be cutting to a commercial here, but since I have no idea how to operate this equipment and we're, our equipment's not 100%, we're still waiting for uh, somebody to come back with some equipment. I take it they had to leave the ballpark to go get the equipment because that was uh, probably about 30 minutes before game time. So hopefully they'll be showing back up with some shiny new gear for us to get our commercial breaks in and sound a little bit more professional for you folks listening to us. We appreciate you taking the time to listen to the broadcast. <clears throat> Cameron Cook stepping into the box. Left-handed hitter, number three. Yep. Right as I looked out. First pitch is high and outside. <laughs> Thrown out stealing over there at second base puts uh, the four hole hitter back up to start the inning. Big swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. <clears throat> that four hole hitter. Pitch is ready. Here's the third pitch. It's fouled off the third side. 
behind third base. <coughs> Shows you that four hole swing Excuse right me. there. He's got the good swing. Steps back in the box. He's ready for the next pitch, and here it comes. Outside. High and away. <laughs> Everybody's favorite major league. What's just that? a bit outside. A bit outside. Just, just a bit outside. There's a good curve ball in for Great location. foul ball off the third base side for strike two. I'd live right there if I was Kyle Brown. That was a great pitch for a four hole. And here's the next pitch, and it's down the middle. There's a line shot to the shortstop, and he can't handle it. That's a base hit into the outfield. Yeah, that would have been a fine catch had he made that. Absolutely. He had to dive for it and came just off the end of his glove. Came off the glove and good effort, Owen. So he gets a base hit. Number twenty-three coming to the plate. A young man named Cook. There's the throw to first, and he's back in safely. Cameron Cook, a right hand hitter. There's ready for the pitch. Throw to first again. Nobody there. No outs. That's kind of surprised he threw over there. He's not taking that big of a lead off. There's a bunt down the first baseline, and that's foul ball. That's a hard lesson to learn right there. Anything hit on that line is going to go foul on this with the crowning of this field. Uh-huh. That's that's our home field advantage right there. <laughs> but that wasn't a, wasn't a bad uh, fault. Put that... Uh, Young man on the base baths, but uh, to no avail. Drop down the bunt, just went foul. Oh. Foul tip on a, another slow curveball inside, and looked like he tried to bunt it again. Two strikes, he's not going to be bunting again. No, <laughs> no, he shouldn't be. But uh, well, I would like to see him, but you know, sometimes you got to force it. There's a ground ball at third base, goes to second. Oh, throws a bad uh, low, and he's safe at second with the third base throwing error. Throw came over from uh, third base to the second baseman, Cody Conkle, and it was just outside of his reach when went off into uh, right field. Well, he had to be a They'll hold him right there. contortionist to catch that because <laughs> no. Conkle is a right-handed hitter and a right-handed thrower, and the ball was on his lower right side. There's the bunt. The pitcher takes it, throwing to first, and he's out of there. And the runners move up to second and third. One away. Runners at second and third for Stony Point Tigers. Kyle filled that ball himself and flipped it over to the second baseman covering the bag as that bunt pulled Tyne and Gun off the bag. Play. Landa Verde. Played about as good as you can play it. Third baseman. Curve ball outside and low. For ball one, and here's the next pitch. High butt foul off the third base side. They're gonna bunt in a run. I'm trying to squeeze that one in. Thank goodness that ball came because that. Uh, well, it was a suicide. hitter was coming it in. It was a suicide. Yes. Squeeze because. Uh, he was almost the home plate when the ball was fouled off. Had that ball been laid out in the grass in fair territory, he would have scored easily. As a matter of fact, the mayor ran over the hitter <laughs> trying to get out of the batter's box. Here's the next pitch. 
And it's a curveball swung on and missed. Ball one and two strikes on the hitter. Start to see right here where Kyle battles through these. And curveball outside. Two and two the count. One out. Runners at second and third for Stony Point. Here's the pitch, and it's foul ball off the right side. Flags aren't quite standing up like they were. There's a little gust out there. They'll, they'll sit for a little bit and then pick up. And right there when he hit that, that was just heading uh, check foul. That, check that flag. It's still blowing pretty good. Two and two count. Here's the pitch. It's high curveball. Pops the shortstop. Shortstop takes it on the second base side. The wind moves that ball quite a bit. Well, the two outs now, still runners on second. Right as I and say that, that, that foul ball was hit. The flags were sitting there. He hits the ball, and it blows it in. What probably would have been a little bit deeper on that shortstop to catch that ball was blown all the way back yeah. over to the other side of second base. Well, it, uh, that ball went up on the shortstop side, yes. and it was caught about six feet on the second base side. There's a fly ball to right field. It's going to be in there for a base hit. Oh, nope, that's fair. Fair ball, and uh, both runners score. It's a double for... That wind is Diegas. not playing favors for the Vista Ridge. As that ball was hit, that... Right fielder would have easily gotten to that ball, and that wind picked up right as we were talking. It took it Pushed right that on. that ball about, what, three feet from the foul line. And it was hit on more of a line shot rather than a... Both runners score, so that's high fastball for ball one to the hitter. Low and outside for the ball two. Got two outs, runner on second base. Two runners in. Here's the next pitch. Strike two. Low strike called right there. Better kind of look like he didn't agree with well, that. Well, that uh, you couldn't get much closer to the foul line on that right field at uh, on that double. There's a high curveball, no, no uh, cigar on that one. Three-one count right here. Two away, three and one count. Right-handed hitter. There's the pitch outside. Ball four. Number 15 draws a walk. Orozco brings to the plate the leadoff hitter. Cade Crawford. Number four. Right-handed hitter. First and second occupied. Two outs. Top of the second. There's a curveball or slider. It was high and ball one. Two outs, these runners are going. Ground ball to third base. He picks it up, steps on the bag at third, and it's three down. Hank Howard Score. fields that, steps on the bag for the force. Finally gets out of that inning after that uh, two-out Tony Point, Tony Point going uh, with a, a two-run explosion there for a two-to-one lead. Flags are standing back up again. Right before he hit, those flags were sitting. All those flags in Alfield were just sitting down. 
Well, it, you know, our flag is blowing pretty good. Yep. And uh, so that it doesn't appear to be windy, <laughs> but yet when you uh, take your hand off of loose paper, yes. <laughs> it, it's all gone. I was it's, looking at the all the red and black. VR flags that we had lining the fence right before that hit. I mean, I right before that hit, I was just about to say that the wind settled down, and then all of a sudden it picks back up, and I'm looking at yep. the American flag, and it is just well, standing that's, up. Uh, it's standing up at attention right now. That double to uh, right field was just inside the line. Just inside. I mean, it, it was very close. Plate umpire ran down the first baseline, and Gave the fair signal, and everybody uh, with two outs, was they were running going. with two outs, too. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, the wind definitely took it. There's no way that anybody could reach it. And we're going into the uh, bottom of the second, and Laura is ready with the first pitch. Strike one. Alex Brindlemeyer steps into the box. Strike one. Laura takes his uh, wind up. And strike two, swung and missed. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the bottom of the second. There's the next pitch low in the dirt. Laura tried a little slider, curveball. And Laura gets his signal and he's ready. Render mile ready. And swung on a miss. A high outside part of the strike zone for one out. It's a good pitch, though. It Kind of crossed him up there for a second, and he did strike out swinging. Hack Howard coming Devin to the plate. Gonzalez. Devin Gonzalez steps in. There's a ground ball to the second baseman, and he feels it and throws him out at first base. Oh, the throw was in the dirt, kind of, and the uh, first baseman had to backhand it. We had to wait for a second for the umpire to to give the uh, out signal. Two down, number 17 coming to the plate. One of our sophomores, big big That's, guy. This is Hank Howard. Ball one on the first pitch. Hanks also got a home run earlier in the tournament. Asked Pat Westlake as well. Well, he'll have to hit. Oh, that's a long fly ball to center field. Center field is running. That wind helps us gonna, again. He's going to try for three. He's got it made. It, that's a triple to deep right center. And that ball, we were hesitating for a moment. It looked like it could have... Uh, been hit out, but uh, that wind cutting into it, it just just killed the fly. Cody Kyle stepping into the box. With two outs, Cody Kyle in uh, the batter's box, a right-handed hitter, runner on third base. Laura set there's a pitch and strike. Cody did really well this weekend with runners in scoring positions, so let's see what he does with uh, Hank sitting at third on that triple. Well, he's got a big gap up the middle. Ball one, or two, excuse me. Fastball on the outside part of the Batter's box. Pitch Laura's ready with the pitch, and there's a low ball. Two, three, excuse me.
I can tell you he wants to hit. <laughs> High inside, ball four. Cody jogs on down to first base with the walk. Brings our leadoff hitter back up, Owen Grosh. First and third occupied, two outs, right hand hitter. Here's the first pitch, curveball inside corner for a strike. Two outs, uh, Raiders, uh, Rangers, there uh, go the first hitter, Balk. Yes, sir. Cody started hopping over there at second, and I think it caught that pitcher's eye, and he balked, and that will bring in the run from third, which will tie us up, folks. <laughs> <laughs> tie and run. Well, he took an early lead. I think he saw something, and that, that, I don't yeah. know if he saw the balk or if he was Well, I think he, he kind of looked out of the corner of his eyes <laughs> and didn't see the runner. <laughs> There's a flying shot down the third baseline. That'll it's going to score another run. Oh, it's a throws off and runner scores. And uh, batter goes to second on the throw in. Number 19 coming to the plate. Exciting hitter to have come in with runners in scoring position, too. Both of these back-to-back, -back, Owen Grosh and Jake Wagner. And catcher Jake Wagner takes the first pitch, swing on it, and beat it into the dirt. Jake asks for time so he can go down to talk to Coach over there on third base line, down the third base line. Good hit. Whatever they were talking about, he's got it. He's back in the box. Here's the pitch. Low outside. Ball one. Jake just looks like he's he just looks like he's ready to hit. He's getting excited. You can see it. You can see it in his uh just the way he carries his himself. Actions, yeah. Yep. Here's Laura's next pitch. And it's a big high pop up into the that's first base, and it's the first base side, and it's back on the concrete. That might have stayed in without the wind, but the wind is still got that uh, American flag well, standing up. So anything up, is you could tell out. that was going out. The yep. Very first thing. But it's ball one and two strikes. Runner on second. Another base hit could be plentiful. Here's the pitch, low in the dirt, ball. Gets away from the catcher, but not far enough to, oh, and Gross stays over there at second. Yeah, it's in one of those, I'm just going to run over here and wait to see what you do at second base. <laughs> and here's the next pitch, outside, ball, three. First base open, second base occupied, and two outs. Rangers up by one. Foul balls down the third baseline. He didn't like that pitch, so he came off balance and just made contact with it. Right. Staying alive, battling every every coach. That's what they want well, to see. Well, with two strikes on you, anything close. You got a full count. You, you don't can, like the pitch, foul it off. And you want to foul that, it off, that's for sure. He is that kind of contact hitter to do that, too. Oops. Strike three, the catcher drops the ball, throws the first, and the runner is out. Threw a nasty little breaking ball right there. Yeah. 
Jake just swung right over the top of it, uh -huh. but the catcher couldn't hang on to it, so it's a drop third strike. And yeah, he didn't uh, didn't swing a normal no. swing at that because it, it started started breaking and just kept going down. So much so it wasn't a dirt. So Kyle comes back out for another inning. Looks like he's ready to go with the lead now, with the Rangers leading uh, three to two. Kyle's Kyle's got a little bit of help up there from his offense, so I'm sure he's feeling a little bit more confident than he would if we were down two one. So being up three two always helps those pitchers out. Little little giddy up in everybody's step, running out on the field. Ready to go play some defense. This is what we like to see as Ranger fans. You can always tell when those shoulders drop. When those <laughs> seen a couple games in the tournaments both ways, folks. So when you see them with that giddy up and they get a little snap in their step, you know they're getting ready to play some defense. And it's exciting to see. Throw down to second. Brings up our next hitter. Come to the plate for the Stony Point Tigers, number three, or number two. Creek struck out swinging last time, last at bat. Creek steps in. Here's the pitch. Swung on, foul ball down the third base line. Here's the next pitch high. Missed his release on that breaking ball. Oh, I tell you, he, he started, got it up there. He started that breaking ball. It's probably a good thing that was a breaking ball because at that, that, that release point, it was able to break down to the catcher climbing the ladder. Here's the next pitch, low in the dirt. Ball two, two and one. Kyle never seems to be affected by that stuff. He just gets right back in and starts throwing, so. Oh, yeah. There's high fly ball down the right field line. Blows foul. And I, I guess the right fielder missed it. I couldn't tell. Yeah, he was right there. It looked like he kind of got to the ball. It just uh, didn't fall into the glove. That's Matt Foley out there in right field. Matt Foley's got some <coughs> wheels too, so. 2-2 two, two count on the hitter. Nobody out. That, I'm Top sure it's third inning. Pitch is outside for ball three. Again, that wind, you know, even as a fielder, I'm sure Matt thought he had it probably closer to fair territory, and he just kept going with it. That wind is wreaking havoc. Anything hits a right field just keeps going and going and going to the right. Ground field. ready. There's a long fly ball into left center taken by the left fielder. You hit a ball in there, you might as well head for the dugout. <laughs> that wind is going to hold that ball up in the air. Green's got a little base hit last time he was up to bat. Number 18. There's a strike one on the first pitch. Big, tall, left-handed hitter. There's the next pitch, and it's fouled off the third base side. There's not a lot of pause in this. I mean, they're getting the ball, and they're, I mean, Kyle's coming set just about. I mean, he's, he's, this, this game's moving this right along. Uh, looks like he could put the wood to it if they had wood bats. I have no idea where that pitch missed. <laughs> no idea where that pitch missed. It's outside. <laughs> it was a ball. <laughs> outside trying, to, outside trying, to a lefty batter. But well, he's trying to make it, uh, make him like hit it. it to the left field side. Oh, got the slider in on him and 
first baseman takes it, shovels it to the pitcher, yep. who is a little bit slow getting there, but uh, they all arrived about the same time. Per <laughs> it could have been a, a collision. Got Kyle's brother up here if you folks overheard that. Might have said he's not the <laughs> fastest, but he's one of the better athletes here at this school playing <laughs> basketball, football, and baseball. <coughs> and a lot of fun to w a lot of fun to watch in every single sport. Yeah. But a they brotherly were, love. Then, they right? were right next to one another. And here's the first pitch. And it's a high breaking pitch. Ball one. Two outs here in the top of the third. That's a breaking pitch in for a strike. Kyle's just getting that ball. They're feeding it back. There's not a lot of talking for us. It doesn't give us a lot of chance to talk. He gets that ball, steps up on that rubber. Reigns, the hitter, just followed that little curveball. It's <laughs> ready uh, to go. Did all the body movements but didn't swing. And there's an, another breaking pitch. It was a, a little outside high. Not quite getting. I think later in the season, everybody kind of settles down early in the season. They just get, man, they're just going. Two and one pinch. Uh, bounder passed the pitcher to second baseman and S can't make the throw. That was a really a tough, tough play for anybody. It was a, a high bouncer that bounced over the pitcher and hit about three feet on the grass toward the second baseman. And he had to come in on a run and try to make the play, but couldn't do it. Could not make the throw to first base. Ball heads over to the dugout, but the runner... Run not, on first, two not, outs. Not willing to take that extra base. For fear no. That he might get gunned out. Brown's ready with the pitch. Fastball on the outside corner. Strike. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cook at the plate. We'll take it. Next pitch, curveball hit the center field. The center fielder camps under it and takes it <laughs> for the third out. So, so that that ball heading to left left center curved all the way back, almost to where our center fielder started off. He started right. coming back over. If you yeah, that's a you hit it that side of the field. Uh, it's just not going to go anywhere. No. Unless you really put the power to, to it. A, hit a line drive that doesn't go about 20 feet off the ground and, and is still traveling upwards to get it out of the hey, park Macarena. tonight. Uh, anything up in the air with this wind, it is just wreaking havoc on a baseball. But that's the conditions that we play in. That's baseball, and it's exciting and fun, and that's why we love the sport. So both teams have to play in it, so they both have to deal with the conditions. There's uh there's no advantage one way or the uh, the other. <clears throat> we do have a have a little history here, Mr. Ridge Ballpark, with the uh, wind coming down the third baseline and blowing dirt up against the uh, the uh, dirt ring you see around home plate. So it uh, we we do during baseball season typically have a wind coming out of the uh, south coming in like it is this evening, but uh, just not this stiff. So that ends the inning. Stony Point takes the field. Got the throw down from the catcher as we get ready. Start the next. We've got Tiny Gun coming in. Tiny Gun's got to be, if he doesn't have the highest batting average so far, he's got to be up there in the top three for sure. 
I think he is. Well, Tynan Gunn's a right-handed hitter playing first base, and he is a big boy. And the curveball's on the inside for a strike. I'll just say it, well, inside. He's a, he's a right-handed batter, right? So so that same pitch on a lefty, you know, it, it looks different. Well, it, it was, uh, let's say, an inside strike. Yes. And there's a swing and miss, uh, or swing and you know, ground ball past third in foul territory. That ball looked just like nothing hit off the bat, little ground ball chopper. And that ball went all the way to the left field corner and give you an idea of his bat velocity. He's got, this kid's got some well, bat two strikes on the hitter, no balls. Laurel's next pitch wasn't quite ready and steps off. Yes, uh, what do you throw to this guy at, with two strikes? Curveball down low. Ball one. Obviously, Tynan didn't like it. Neither did the umpire. So. Low outside, ball two. Looked like the same pitch, only about a foot and a half over to the right. Away from China. Well, uh, this big guy like this, uh, hit it to right center. The right fielder moves over, the wind brought it back, and that's one big can of corn for out number one. I don't know if y'all can see that on the video feed, but that ball was definitely right center, and the right oh, fielder oh, yeah. probably only moved over about yeah. 10 steps. Well, as that you ball know, just... mentally, I don't know how the ball players look at it this day and time, but here's the first pitch for the next hitter, and he's, he's hit, I think. No, it didn't get him. It didn't, didn't hit him. I don't, see, I don't see how it didn't, but. He's got some good reflexes. That's another one. Oh, so that and eye coordination. That pitch was so far inside. Kyle uh, Brown just dove out of the way. Of that how ball. he kept from getting hit, I don't know. Here's the second pitch. Curveball. Must have been low. Ball two. But I was just going to say, I think I would try to get all these hitters to hit to the left field. Strike one. Getting her Two balls and a strike. Getting her first feedback of the broadcast. One out. <laughs> Bottom of the third inning. There's a pitch is inside. Ball two, ball three, I mean. Three and one to count, one out. No runners on. Here's the next pitch. Look, strike five, right down the middle, evidently missed by the catcher. Hmm. He, he got his glove, but it went off the edge of it and rolled back to the screen. Let's see what Kyle does on full, this full count right here. Full count, one out. Strike three, fastball right down the mile, middle. Just. Let and miss that one. Number four coming to the plate with two outs. Matt Matthew Foley. Matt Foley's a junior. Been hitting lights out. Fastball in the dirt. <laughs> what? One of those, he's another one of those players that's, I, I guarantee he's in the top three or four on the team with batting average. Laura's ready with the pitch. The wind up. Inside corner. First strike. I, <laughs> it's not a lefty. <laughs> one on so, one to count. He is, uh, Here's the next pitch and fouled off back to the screen. 
definitely improved as a hitter as the years go on. He is uh, very selective with his pitches, and when he gets the pitch he wants, he usually hammers it. Lowell's ready. Here's the wind-up. Ground ball to the second baseman. He feels it. Throws it to first, and he's out. Foley's got good wheels. He got there pretty fast. Three down. Three two score. Raiders on top. Top of the fourth inning coming up. Kyle back out there to you're listening to this, coach just came in and uh, Rodney Vincent coach, football coach, reminder to everybody we're in a Leander ISD facility and you should be wearing your mask at all times. Number five coming to the plate. First pitch inside ball. Pasek, uh, right handed hitter. Here's the second pitch, and it's outside. Ball two. Nobody out. Top of the fourth inning. Line shot to left field, and it's in there for a base hit. He took that ball hard to the to left field side, a line drive in that uh, hole between short and third. Number 11, Linda Verde coming to the plate with runner on. And there's a fake bunt, ball one. I say fake, he probably uh, pulled off of it. And they might be Three, two game. playing okay. one run at a time. There's a, the bunt to the pitcher. He slips down, makes the throw to first for the out. Runner advances. So Kyle Brown runs up, slips from a seated position. Throws the ball over to Cody Conkle, the second baseman that's covering since the first baseman's <laughs> crashing, and they get the out. Talk about athleticism. <laughs> that's uh, these, uh, these shoes on this uh, probably a, a little bit damp grass. They're pretty slick with those rubber soles. There's a curveball swung on and missed. Number seven, Viegas. Swung on a miss, strike two. Seems like Kyle just gets a little aggravated anytime somebody gets out there and just makes him pitch a little bit better. He gets a runner on, he just pitches that much better. Tightens things down. Line shot between the third baseman and shortstop. Run around third and is held up by the base coach and uh, got a base hit and that's two base hits back to back right uh, in the same area. First and third, number 15, Roscoe. Devin Gonzalez out there in left field, fielded that ball and fired it home. Pretty close to being on track, too. Kept that runner at third. Yeah. 
and runner scores. There's a, a bunt to the pitcher, and I was trying to wait to see what happens, and he faked the runner, but the runner didn't uh, really react to it, and then he turned and threw the first for the out, and the runner scored from third base. 3-3 tie here in the fourth inning. Runner on second, two outs. Brown's ready for the next pitch. High pop foul That's into the right-hand side of the field and out of play. He's flied out to four, second base, and he's grounded out to five, third base. See what he does right here. Here's the next pitch. Fastball outside. Ball one, strike one. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Tie ball game, 3-3. Three, three. Here's Brown's next pitch. And it's pop fly out of play behind first base. Anything goes up on that right side, you can pretty much depend on the fact that it's going to be foul. But on the third base side, you hit it that way. The wind's going to kill it. Here's Brown's next pitch. Curveball. Hit fly ball to right field, down the right field line. Right fielder takes it in for the out. And the inning is over with uh, a tie ball game. Matt Foley over there in right field tracked that one down. That one didn't quite drift out of his reach on that one. Anything that goes up uh, the right field side is kind of scary because the wind's blowing in such a way that it's going to create some problems. Devin Gonzalez had that uh, leg injury at Westlake when he was running down to first. Came up with a uh, little leg injury. and, and uh, So he's over in, in left field where he's normally, well, at least he was for the other tournaments prior to his, to having to sit out for a little bit was playing right field. So you got him over in left field. And you got Matt Foley, which is normally in left field. He's over in right field. So if you're if you're watching this, understand that uh, those two positions have swapped. And Matt Foley has definitely got his work cut out for him. Any ball put up to right field. Tie ball game, folks. Tie ball game, 3-3. Three, three. Springs to the plate, number three. Kyle Breederman. Alex. Alex Brindlemeyer. Laura takes a signal from the catcher. Fastball inside corner. Strike one. Here's the wind up. Swung on. Tap foul. Strike two. Alex looking for a little hit right here after a strikeout in the first inning, but he definitely battles. Laura's next pitch is on the way. Ball. A little grumbling from the crowd, but that ball was definitely in the uh, it's left batter's box. Well, to be frank, uh, it's been called strike a number of times. Here's the fast ball. It's ground ball to third baseman. Third baseman picks it up, throws the first, and he's out. <laughs> Made a really good throw from his knees. 
he muffled the ball a little bit and then picked it up and threw from there and threw it in the dirt and the first baseman dug it out and the runner was out. That was a heck of a throw because yeah. he bobbled that and he bobbled fired that ball across the diamond. Just threw it kind of on his knees, didn't he? I don't know. He was, Alex can run, too, so I, he was burning down that line. So. Uh-oh, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk Coach about Carver that. Carver came over from uh, useless, but. <laughs> yeah. Coach wanted to make sure that uh, he was out at first, so. I think he was asking for a little help on that from home plate, but that, uh, I think the umpire oh, might just told yeah, him. I know. Nope, well, I there, saw that. I hate to say this about umpires, because been one, done that. Strike one. But they'll, they'll back each other up most of the time. Strike two, swing and a miss. Excuse me. Devin Gonzalez, 0 2 count. Devin Gonzalez, yeah. Ball four. No, ball two, excuse me. Ball one. One, ball one, excuse me. I was looking at a number. Oh, took a inside pitch and drilled it. Tell you what, that's what you do though. You got two strikes and you don't like it. Foul it foul, off. Foul that baby over into the track area. It's about as early as you could beat it. Make contact with that ball. He hit it Here's almost next pitch. behind him. And he bounds it down the third baseline foul. Right. That pitcher saw that and gave him the same pitch. hit that ball on the angle, that bat head has got to be all the way out in front of you to hit that ball yeah, behind he's, you like He's that. trying to get a piece of it. He's staying. Oh, he took that same inside pitch and missed it. Strike three. Two away now. Come to the plate, number 17. Hank Howard. Two outs, bottom of the fourth inning. Hank with his, lead, his triple on his first at-bat. Laurel's first pitch is a slow curve ball taken for a strike. Oh, inside. Pitch, I thought he was going to get hit with that one. Ball one, strike one. Foul tip. Strike two. Being baseball savvy, he was welcoming that too. He just sat there. He said, oh, "You want to throw with that inside? I'll, I'll wear that." I really like the way he carries himself in baseball. This is a future Vista Ridge baseball right here. Laura Some of these gets sophomores it. Laura's uh, in the windup. There's a pitch, and it's in the dirt. Two's across the board, two, two, two. Now we're here in the dugout. <laughs> Here's Laura's next delivery. Drive right up the middle. Fastball in for single. That was one of the better hit balls today on the ground. Hank being two for two tonight with a triple and a single. Both balls hit very hard. Fastball swung on or missed. He tipped that one. This must be Cody Conkle, huh? That is Cody Conkle. <laughs> Cody Conkle. 
Oh, he was ready to jump on that one and had his decision made before the pitch was ever thrown. He's bad, bad curveball outside. He'll buckle down and see what happens. Track three. Got to leave that head in to that, see that put ball. Put that fastball in on his shoulders inside, and Cody couldn't couldn't make contact. Well, at the end of four full innings, it's three to three. Vista Ridge Rangers hosting Stony Point Tigers. Kyle Brown back on the mound to, for another inning of pitching. Who you got? I said Kyle Brown back on the mound. Oh, yeah. Yep. For another inning. He's yep. doing fantastic. Pitching a good game. Yeah, both pitchers have done well. Uh, two line shots uh, to left field for base hits uh, have been the only balls that have been hit that well other than just the fly balls that uh, had to be run down in lots of cases. This late into the season that those errors start to dwindle so you only got one error on each side. First pitch is outside. <laughs> Did you pick up that number in the hitter? Fastball down the middle. Number two at the plate. That's Creek. Shortstop leading off the fifth inning. Fastball outside. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That pitch right there. Uh, Sometimes okay. it's called a strike. <laughs> kind of a 50 and, uh, it's not a strike. There's the next pitch is fouled off third baseline. But we had one uh, previous inning, I think, a lot closer than that, and it was not called a strike. And it just, uh, there's a ground ball to the third baseman, takes it, throws it across, and he's out. At first base. Hank showing off his arm strength like their third baseman did earlier. I'll tell you what, he fielded that ball. He cut it across. To, yeah, he took an extra step too and still fired that ball. I don't think that ball went over the top of Kyle Brown's head on top of the mound. It was a rail. We have a little a shoe problem. At first base, uh, he got it ready to go. Now he's got number 18. Left-handed hitter. Here's the first pitch. Curveball on the outside corner. Strike one. Pitcher's ready. Here's Loris Alpring is outside. Ball one. One on one to count. One out. Here's the pitch. Curveball hit to the third baseman. Bobbles it. And hit. The that and he goes to first base. Why did the runner stop? I have. That's. That is a great example right there. Hall, ball was drilled to Hank Howard he at must. third base. It, he wasn't able to field it, but he kept it in front of him. And the, the runner just gave up. He uh, just looked up. I was just halfway like down. to say, I think he thought that was a foul ball. Yeah, well, it was Hank was And six. he just got enough of it to get a little 
There's a foul ball by number three, Reigns, the catcher, the left-handed hitter for Stony Point. In a 3-3 tie, there's a pitch into the dirt for ball one. Sneaks under the catcher's glove, but that's okay. There's no runners on. If it's going to happen, that's when you want it to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's two down. Nobody on. There's a pitch on the inside corner. Strike. Have they got a pitch count? I, I'm not keeping it, so I don't. There's this next pitch was a, a ball inside. <coughs> close to that pitch right before. I'll tell you, it was a, there's a ground ball to the second baseman, and he throws the first, and he's out of there. And the, Tyna was looking like, hey, I think I can field that ball. In the four and a half <laughs> innings, it's a 3-3 tie. Cody said, get back over on the bag, I got this. <laughs> so, Tell you, Conco played that one well. Well, so far in this 3 3 tie, uh, Stony Point has six hits and one error. And uh, Vista Ridge has four hits with one error. Laura's taking his warm up pitches. When the catcher's the last hitter, <laughs> it always takes a while. He's got all that paraphernalia oh, yeah. to put on. Absolutely. That second baseman still has his glasses on, and it still looks like a sparkler. I'm, I don't know if they're picking it up on camera, but he still's got those glasses on the second baseman. Uh, yeah, and he's I, got I, those I, on I don't his know, hat. Yeah, I don't know how they let him do that, just because. I mean, you can see how eye-catching it is, and your batters come up. Uh huh. That's why they have that rule. You're not supposed to have them on your head, you know, at nighttime if you're not using them. So, not supposed to be wearing them, huh? No. Umpires usually have him take him off. And that's why. I mean, we're sitting up here and it's catching our attention. He's definitely getting some attention tonight, but uh, I'm not saying that's – we're at a definitely a higher plane than the uh, batters are, but we're catching a lot of flashes from that second baseman. He's got a good arm. Yep. Catcher gets back over here, so umpire looks like he's giving him a few more throws. This is going to be the throwdown. Gets away from second baseman and the shortstop. Center fielder comes in and gets it. <laughs> That's just the... Uh, Lawrence Laura on the mound for Stony Point as we begin the bottom of the fifth inning. Number two will be the leadoff hitter. Jake Wacker, no. Nope. Owen Grosh. Number two, Owen Grosh. Lauren Drake, pinch hitter? No, no. it's Owen Grosh. Lead off. Okay, lead off hitter. Jake's on deck. Foul ball for Shark One. Here's the next pitch, and it's a pump up right field side, and it blows out of play. I parked my truck way over there on the right field, and it doesn't even matter. There's not a ball that can get to it. Curveball in there for a ball. Two and two the count. Oh, definitely missed outside. <laughs> Excuse me. Fastball low and away.
Uh, correct, that counts two and two. See that new backstop? It missed the padding, kicked all the way over to the on deck circle, just about. Ball three. Law's getting a signal, and he's, and he's wind up. There's the throw. That's a line shot down the right field, left field line. Left fielder comes over and throws it in. And there's a good base hit to the right down the left field line, hit in about two or three feet inside the line. Brings to the plate. Number 19, Jake Wagner. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. There's a pitch. There's a foul bunt. Foul tip back. You know, that's one thing. I know you practice it, but uh, it's the most difficult thing for most young people to bunt. And it would seem to be the easiest. Throw to first, throws it away, and he goes, going to go to third base. And uh, that, that would have been interference anyway as the throw came over. The first baseman missed the ball, came down on top of Owen Grosh. Yeah. Ball gets away from the first baseman. Right fielder and second baseman go chasing it down the, down the line, and Owen's able to take third on that error throw. Yes, sir. That is definitely an error. All right. Runner in third base. Jake is one swing away from getting us the lead again. Here Ground ball past the shortstop. There it is. In the center field. In comes the fourth run for the Rangers. If you wonder why I'm so excited about this kid, there it is right there. Yep. Hits the ball past the shortstop. Yeah, he's got a rudder. He's got a... Who's that runner came in for him? I, I couldn't see his number. It looks like Jackson. Brindle Jackson. Meyer. Running for... Jackson Brendelmeyer, number 21. 2-1. Curveball for the first pitch to number 24. <laughs> Tyne and Gun. That's an appropriate name. Perhaps, you know. Uh, definitely. <laughs> he is, uh, he's been on he's, fire here. Let's stay on fire. Signal. He's getting a signal now. He's got the speedster on the bag right now. Pinch running for the catcher. Yeah. Well, there's a deep fly deep ball into fly. center field, but the wind's going to hold it up. Center fielder has to come in for it then. I tell you, that ball would have been out uh, on a normal night. That ball was hit hard. Easy. And high. Just, just goes to show we've been talking about it all night. That wind is. But, again, both teams have to play with it. Same condition. So. Number 12, Kyle Brown coming to, to the plate with one out here in the fifth inning. There's the first pitch. Oh, it's inside. Wild pitch. <laughs> uh, another ball that misses the padding and kicks all the way back about halfway over to third base. Yeah. <laughs> you call for uh, I'm part of Put a new ball in, the, a different ball. Well, ball one uh, on the hitter. One out, runner at second. There's the pitch, foul ball, right, <laughs> right field side. And he, he knew he had the pitch he was looking for. He was going to hit that ball to right field. But he got under it a little bit and... Fouled it off. One and one to count. One out. 
Runner at second. There's the pitch. In the dirt, gets away from the pitcher. Another wild pitch. Get to kind of see his speed. I wish this camera could actually cover all the bases, and I apologize for that. We're just, uh, we're zoomed back about as far as that thing will go, so where the camera's mounted. Runner moves up from second to third. Two balls and a strike. Laurel's pitch. There's a bunt. And runner comes in to score. And the runner's out at first. Kyle that gets that sack bunt in, brings in another run. Brings in another run. And that's uh that's the way you do it. That was a suicide <laughs> too. You I mean he was coming as well. Oh yeah. That that kid is fast. I mean fast, fast. Five five to three. This is the score. There's a foul ball on the right field uh, side. I made the mistake of saying he's probably one of the fastest ones on the team earlier, and I quickly for fixed that and said he is definitely the fastest kid out there on the ball. ball. Another wild pitch yep. into the dirt for a ball. And it's a 1-1 one, one count with two, two outs. Lawrence uh, ready on the mound. Here it comes the first pitch or next pitch. A slow curveball inside for both. Ball two. Matthew Foley not offering at that one at all. No, this is where you, you, you make the pitcher throw strikes. There's a ground ball past the second baseman in the center field. And it's a base hit. Talked about it earlier, Matt Foley's very selective on what pitch he's going to hit. And that makes for a very good hitter when you take your time and you're very selective and you know what pitch you're looking for. Matt's been very, very good hitter here recently with the tournaments and going into district play tonight. Getting a little single right there. Number three at the plate. Breedemann. High fastball. Beat him in the. Uh, Brindlemeyer. Brindlemeyer, excuse me. We have a Beaterman on the team. He's the rotating catcher. And yeah, how it's in there for two balls. Here's the next pitch in the dirt, and the runner advances to second. He just Count goes to three and zero. Oh. Just doesn't look as sharp. He's starting to starting to tire. What? The pitcher he's starting to tire. Doesn't look as sharp start sharp as he started started the game off pitching very very well. Uh, yeah. Right down the middle. Best pitch you're going to get. Strike one. You know, in a 5-3 game, I don't know that I would give him a green light, but that's the best pitch you're going to get, you know. Well, I've said that for years. As the next pitch is a swung on a miss for strike two. 3-2 three, two and two outs and runner on second base. And here's the next pitch. Inside, slow bounder to third base. Feels it, and he's Beat safe it at first. Yes, sir. Last at bat, he did the same thing. He drilled it to the third baseman. Third baseman, that kid has got their third baseman. And has got a heck of a arm. We're going to have a little, little timeout, and the coach is going to take yep. a walk to the mound and visit with uh, Lawrence Laura. That third baseman has got a heck of an arm is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, he has. And, and Alex just well, beat certain, that out, legged that one out. Certain things you can't do anything about. That was a hustle play, 100%. Congratulations to Alex. 
getting that runner over to third base. Got runners at first and third in this situation. Laura has been uh, pulled for the game, and what's that number on that gentleman? Number nine. Number number nine. Jeez. You got all kinds of stuff. It's number nine continues to warm up. We'll get a name on that. <laughs> Everybody's favorite YMCA coming on while the uh, YMCA and the I'll never forget the, the guy that came on one of the talent shows, and he uh, he was the middle man in the line there. Number nine, Peyton Owens, in for the Tigers. This guy did the. He did the routine with the the different people uh, that were were dummies. They were all connected. Other uh, classic. Looks like uh, Peyton is downhill pitcher. I mean, he comes straight over the top. No three quarter to that. Well, and I say that, and the next one he kind of. Leans over that pitch right before that. He came straight over the top, straight downhill. Devin. Peyton who? Devin Gonzalez stepping into the box. All right, the leadoff. Oh, check swing. Didn't look like he wanted that. Then at the last minute, didn't. I don't know that he came around as much as that might have stayed a strike. Two outs on the board. Throw to first base and uh, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> that looked like anybody was ready for that. First yeah. baseman cut it off and uh, dug it out of dirt. First and third occupied. That could have been another run right there if that first baseman wouldn't. There's a swing and a miss. And there's throws a second base uh, and the runner at third held. There was a, an attempt to get in a. a get in a, a pickle and uh, try to let that runner score from third. Two strikes on the hitter. There's a curveball missed and strike three. Peyton Owen comes in and uh, kills the inning, but the uh, Rangers take a 5-3 lead going to the top of the sixth inning. got to play defense for another six outs and keep them from scoring two more runs and we'll open up district with a big W. Not all uh, easier said all, than done. Always helps the pitcher to pick up a few runs in the late innings. And puts pressure on the visiting team being down to with only six outs to go. Now a district starting, it kind of seems crazy to say, you know, it's a welcome spring break coming up with a break, but we've 
got a few injuries. We've got a couple little injuries that are just nagging little injuries, and we need those players back 100%. So this is going to be an extremely welcome spring break uh, coming up next week. Guys got some spring spring break. <laughs> oh God. Not much of a spring. A couple weeks. What ago. do they have? The, they put a bunch of uh, people down in Florida. There's a base hit down the left field line. That's extra bases. And he's got two, and that's it. A double, leadoff double. Cody came all the way over there to help cut that. That ball came in and missed the shortstop. And he's already to second base. So uh, the fielders behind him can be backups and stuff. There's the first pitch. There's a curveball low and in the dirt. Got distracted for a second. Ball one. Nobody out. Top of the sixth inning. Stony Point leadoff double. It's Brown's next pitch. It's high. Ball two. Brown is ready. Takes a stretch. Here's the throw. Strike one. Front down the pipe. Hitter's trying to let him uh, get a little wild, I guess. Two balls and a strike. Nobody out. There's a good oh. curveball. Beautiful. It's about as beautiful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> throw comes back a little high. Kyle cuts it out. That's why we cut off there for a sec. But uh, two two the count. About as beautiful a curveball as you can throw right there. Yeah. We have a little cheerleading session going out of the Stony Point <laughs> dugout. Fastball low and away. Jake Wagner with a beautiful stop there. I mean, that ball was definitely about halfway across the left hand batter's box. Jake Wagner. Yeah, that's, that was a, a, a good stop by the catcher. 3-2 the count. Nobody Six. out. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle. Man. But I, I I tell you what, it, I say it was it evidently was a low. And ball forward, a runner goes to first base. Out comes the pitching coach or head coach. I think that ball had to be low. Yeah, at least it. <coughs> well, the obvious uh, optimistic look is a good ground ball for a double play. <laughs> uh, We've been able to do it in previous games. Get a little 5 4 3 right here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> five, four, three, whatever. Is that the school district rule on the face coverings at the games and stuff? Or broadcasting. Yeah. All right, back to <laughs> the ball game. I here. got my mask on. Well, they're definitely looking for the bunt and had the bunt play, defensive bunt play on. Foul ball and bunt. A little maneuver where the shortstop goes in behind the runner and then comes across inside on the grass and goes to third and the third baseman comes up close along with first baseman 
Here's the next pitch in the same defensive. First and the pitcher steps off. Nobody at second base that time, so they didn't make a play. There's a bunt in the air, and the first baseman has it. And nobody uh, advances. It was a little pop-up, and the runner at second did not try to go anywhere either. So there's one out. All we got to do here is... Uh, that is not where you want the ball to go when you bunt. Come no. off the top of the bat. No. Probably kicked up about 20 feet in the air and Tynan settled underneath it and was ready to throw anybody out. But runners were back. Oh, a little shot to the left, left field line. Bobbled by the left fielder and he throws the third. And runner advances from home plate to second. Runner scores. Makes it 5-4. Now runners on second and third with one out. The uh, hitter jumped on that pitch almost before I could uh, the young man at the plate. Here's the pitch. Curveball, strike one. Roscoe, the hitter. Brown still on the mound. Here's the next pitch. Low curveball outside. Runners at second and third with one out. One ball, one strike, one out. Here's the pitch, fastball outside. That's uh, the pitch the pitcher wanted, but it was often called strikes, but it was outside from this viewpoint. Two balls of a strike, here's the next pitch. Curveball, strike two. Beautiful breaking pitch. Came right in on the over the plate. Two two, one out. Runners at second and third. Here's the pitch. Yeah. Nice Fastball, pitch. Strike three. Got him looking. Right on the outside corner. Beautiful pitch. Two outs. This would be a much welcome third out right here. <coughs> With runners at second four, and third. Number four, Crawford. Cade Crawford is the hitter. Here's the first pitch. High fastball. Ball one. One strike. And no strikes. Uh, two outs. 1-0. Oh. Brown gets his sign. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Big high fly ball to right field. I mean to center field. And uh, I'm sorry. Center field and he uh, brings it in for the out. When that ball was hit, I knew the inning was over unless the center fielder drops it. You know, that the ball's not going anywhere. That uh, Brendel Meyer, when you hit that ball, he's got he's got very good range, real quick, and uh, it's almost a surefire catch every time. Anything in the air, he's got a great eye for the ball. Anytime the ball's up in the air, and uh, really exciting to see a sophomore like that playing center field with that kind of range, that kind of eye for the ball. Again, we got three sophomores out there, and they're <clears throat> all of them are playing very, very good baseball right now. Well deserved uh, be out there in the. Well, the, uh, going into the bottom of the sixth, it's, uh, six to five, five to four. Excuse me. 
Vista Ridge, Vista Ridge Rangers leading Stony Point Tigers. It's five to four and eight hits for both teams. Stony Point's made one error or two errors and Vista Ridge has made one. And leadoff hitter for Vista Ridge. Hank Howard. Number 17. With a triple and a single on the night. Let's go Rangers. It's exciting to see a hitter like this coming in. Hank Howard at the plate. Here's the first pitch. Attempted bunt and it fouled off. For strike one. One ball, no balls, one strike, nobody out. Here's the next pitch, curve ball. Inside corner, strike two. Curveball. Oh, he got hit. Oh, goodness. Cody's on deck. He hit a foul ball. He came back and got him in the face. Yeah. That ball just came off very fast, too. Yeah, dude. Hank's got a heavy bat. Go check. I'm going to peel out. Go, Go check. take a look at him. We'll have a delay for right now. He got, he got hit right in the face. It's really, really hard to see right now. It appears to be okay. Going to the dugout. As a next pitch, and it, it's uh, fouls tipped for strike two. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Swung on and fouled back. It's a uh, very. Uh, ominous kind of feel that when the ball player gets hit like that. There's a curveball foul down the third baseline out of play. Foul tip again. What did Cody looked like? Oh, he got yeah. a little scrape on the cheek. That ball came right off his cheekbone. Mm -hmm. There's a fly ball to center field, and he's uh, going to be played over in right field. And uh, that was a high fly ball put out.
16, Biederman is uh, the next Eight. hitter. Taking uh, Cody Conkle's position in the batting order. He's a little frustrated he couldn't hit. <laughs> she, uh, the trainer, was not going to let him get in the batter's box. So but he was ready. At least he said he was. Fastball inside. Hit. Ball one. I imagine his head's spinning a little bit right now. I, I think it might have came off the helmet first. So, I mean, you, you well, take something uh, like that on the cheek, it doesn't... He, he reacted pretty quickly, but it's just... Sometimes those things just... There's a curveball in the... Oh, for a fall. Ball, evidently, uh... Two high, it's a ball two, and then strike one. And one out. Good kid right here, Mason Biederman. Fastball hit. Smoke right that ball in the gap. Center. He's in there for a base hit. And he's trying for he's second. And he's out at second. Well, those that's a bang bang play at second base. And... Uh, he smoked that ball into the umpire gap. Umpire was right nice there hit. on it. So there's two outs. Went for that extra base, and that uh, look, I think, looked like a left fielder grabbed that ball, right? Filled it in, threw it into shortstop. Curve ball outside for the first pitch. The next hitter, the leadoff. There's a foul ball off the right side. Behind first base, those balls, uh, they don't hit that screen. Now you got a long way to go get that one. And another one, nope, hits the screen. <laughs> Two in a row. Yeah. Well. Here's the next pitch. Oh, curveball behind the hitter. <laughs> ball. Two strikes, two balls, two outs. Curve ball fouled down the third baseline. Funny how crowd kind of quietens up their two player the just hit. Uh, another <laughs> pitch behind the hitter. We, yes. We're not wearing it in the helmet, so three. that ball came in at his cranium and three, he decided two count. to duck that rather than take the base. Two outs. So Here's payoff pitch right here. Nine and he shot smokes that ball. Base hit. And runner pulls up at first. Well, if How's we it? could have been safe at second, that might have been a run. But... That's the way it goes. Number 19, the hitter. Is this, is this? Oh, yeah, Jake Wagner. Fastball on oh, the outside sir. corner for strike That's one. That's that outside other batter's box call right there. I know. Sometimes wish those white lines were permanent so we could see that ball travel over them. Fastball right to the second baseman, bounces up. Had a candy hop right at the last, right at the base, and fed the shortstop and the force play at second. Well, here we go, folks, with the top of the seventh inning.
Kyle going out for the seventh inning. Warming up. Still looks good. Jackson McFall in to take second base while Cody goes through his concussion protocol. Say again? I said Jackson McFall is in second base uh, in for Cody as Cody goes through his concussion protocol. <laughs> really think that ball grazed off the helmet into his cheek. Jackson who? No. All right, here we go. Top of the seventh inning. 5-4 in favor of Vista Ridge. First pitch is low. In the dirt for ball one. Here's the next pitch, and it's a curveball down the part of the strike. Down the middle. One on one's the count, nobody out, top of the seventh. There's another curve ball, low for ball two. Seems like a pitch we get called whenever we're in the batter's box, but hey, I'm not the one behind the plate. Two and one to count. There's the next pitch inside corner, right two. Two and two on the hitter. Nobody out. Leadoff hitter in the top of the seventh. Vista Ridge with the 5-4 lead. There's the five ball to right field. Right fielder camps under it, takes it, and there's one away. Matt Foley there to vacuum that ball in. Didn't take too many steps. Couldn't really see the angle very well on that one, but... Pretty much. I think he took about left handed three hitter. Steps. Coming up, number 18. First pitch is a high fastball, ball one. Strike two. Big swing and a miss. Strike one. Swing and a miss. On a fastball. Right out of one. One, one, and one. Brown ready. Here's his pitch. It's outside. There you corner. go. Outside corner for strike. Strike two. Fastball on the Jake Next Eddie. pitch was fastball out in the same area, only Upstairs. higher. 2-2 two, two the count, one out. Jake climbed the ladder for that one. Fastball low in the dirt. Brings the count, 3-2, one out. Strike. All game Ball long. Four. I, that's the same exact pitch the last inning I was telling you. It was in the same that's location, right. but it's a left-hand batter, and it's not a strike. He called a ball four. And uh, it, in all honesty, it looked like a good pitch. High school base, baseball or strike, But called it ball four, and there's one out, runner on. Here's the... First pitch, strike one. I don't. Next pitch, outside. I don't think you could tell, basically, maybe well, a little bit, but 
you couldn't tell if this was Kyle pitching in the third inning or the no. seventh right here, about no. to pitch a complete game if he can finish it out. One one the count. Here's the pitch outside. Two balls and a strike. Here's the next pitch, curveball outside. Reigns is the hitter. This game could be over with the double play as well. Foul ball off the third, third base side and the count is 3-2. With one out. Rain's ready and the pitcher Brown is ready and it's a strike three. Kyle, Kyle begging for that last batter, begging for him. He's going, please coach, he's bouncing up and down. Just what, what is he gonna take him out? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Got six no, excuse and me. two thirds. We're discussing the tactic going on here. Tine yeah. is coming. Tine is coming. Brown you gotta tip your hat. A, that was a heck of a pitching performance by Kyle Brown. Right. Tiny gun coming in to pitch. Is evidently a closer. He was our closer last year. He'd been kind of, you know, in these tournaments, we we haven't had really a dedicated closer per se as much as we've been pitching a lot of relief pitchers. But uh, if it's anything like last year, yeah, he'll be the closer. So, yeah, he's he's a he can throw he can throw hard. He's a fastball thrower. Well, let's hope they're not fastball hitters, huh? We got two outs, so all we need is that one. Is somebody else? Oh, we're not on right now, are we? Yeah, yeah we were unable to. I don't even know how to do commercial breaks on here, so normally we would go to a commercial break. You can't hear me in your earpiece, and that's why we've been kind of tripping over each other tonight. Um, Well, we're at a time in the ball game when uh, a number of things can happen. <laughs> this is baseball right here. <laughs> this is baseball. You got, you got you got to love this. You got to love it. No matter what the outcome is, this is baseball. It's a five-four ball game. You got two outs. You got the closing pitcher coming in, basically to pitch one third of an inning, hopefully, you know. And uh, exactly. Yeah, he can throw a fastball down here, and this next guy could hit one out in a ball. Yeah, he, he got to finish the batter. So that's, right, that's the explanation for not pitching the complete is the pitch limit. Um, Kyle was jumping up and down on the 8 one at that last batter, and, and he's a competitor. He's a competitor. Anybody that knows Kyle Brown? Cameron Cook coming to the plate. There's the first pitch. Ball one outside. Again, that pitch, that's a 50-50 pitch right there. Exactly. I wouldn't call it a strike, but it's 50-50 and mostly work. We're the ones getting called the strike when we're in the batter's box on that. Well, it's uh, ball one. No strikes. Two outs. Fastball outside. Ball two. Scoot over on the rubber. Slide over on the rubber. Easy fix right there. Two pitches missed outside. Gets a signal of fastball is high. Ball three.
In, he's ready with the next pitch. Fastball right down the middle. Three and one. Here's the pitch. Inside corner for strike two. Full count, folks. Four or five ball game, two outs, full count. And the pitcher is getting a sign. He's set. There's the pitch, and it's curveball high, or slider breaking pitch. Base runners on first and second. 5 4 ball game. Brings to the plate. Number Just five. The ball on the hand field, and you do. You get uh, any one of the bags. So it's home. Posick is a hitter. Here's the first pitch. High inside. That's the thing about sometimes he, they come in and uh, they can't find the plate. It happens. Here's the pitch. In the dirt. Ball two. Then they begin to press as a pitcher. And uh, the reason I can say this because I've been there. I know what happens. I know what he's thinking right now. Got Jackson Archer in the bullpen. God, just so let me let me throw one strike. <laughs> Jackson Archer's in the bullpen, so. Uh... There's a strike. There's the one I needed. There you go. That's a way to come back right there. Two more, just like it. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. Be beautiful outside pitch right Top there. Top of the seventh. Ball outside. Three and one. That is a nine. I think that's what is that landing? Fosky? Carter Fosky in the bullpen. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Loads of bases. Two outs. Tying run on third, went in run on second, and here comes the head coach to the mound. So we have a little timeout as uh, coach uh, makes an adjustment. Look forward to seeing Tiny after this game and saying, just just a step over on the mound. Then you don't have to change any mechanics. Oh, yeah. You're just missing. Yes. You're missing on that pitch that 50% of them are called strikes in this game. <laughs> Slide over, but then you, you still got your uh, striding foot hole that you're going to end up in. And uh, makes it difficult, you know. Oh, yeah, he just talked to him a little bit here. Settle down and throw strikes. Strike one. First pitch strike call one. strike. All right, pitcher is getting a signal. Here's the wind up and the pitch. All of a sudden, this umpire just no, he does not go. want to pull the trigger. No, it's a curveball in the dirt. Here's the. Next pitch coming up uh, with a one and one count. High fastball for a ball. Ball two, strike one. Here's the next pitch. Strike two. Foul ball out for. 
First base side. Two's on the board. Two balls, two, two outs, strikes, two outs. Two strikes, two balls, two outs. Here's the payoff pitch right here. Could be. And here we go. The there he goes. Three. Swing and a three. miss to end the game. Swing and a miss. Yes, sir. Heck of a freak. And here's first player out out there to give him a big <laughs> leaping jump. That's a great sign. You got Cody Cockle out there, first kid to run out there and give him a congratulations. So that's a welcoming sign when he took a foul ball off the face. So he was the first one out there to give Titan a big old hug. So five four victory for the he, he, had, he had talked Mr. to me. Ridge early. Rangers. That's 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 a ball game right there. Anybody watching this, this is one one to go back and watch again for sure. Maybe the five runs on nine hits, one error. Stony Point, uh, four runs, eight hits, two errors. And we uh, enjoyed it. This is the first one in a number of years, and it's a uh, it's a it's a uh, really preparation today was. Uh, <laughs> kind of difficult, uh, but we got it done and got it out of the out of the way, so to we were speak. Do, we were doing <laughs> post game interviews. I would say definitely bringing Kyle Brown up here. I think we can. I think everybody can say he's our honorary player of the game. Don't you know <laughs> that he was uh, really pulling for for that pitcher. He had uh, Hank Howard had a heck of a ball game. Uh, Jake Wagner had a heck of a ball game. I, all around, I think everybody had a really, really good ball game. This is what we, you know, from if any well, of the folks that were watching or listening to games last week. If there's another one soon, <laughs> I'll be better prepared myself. Absolutely. As well. And, and we can get some microphones that work too. Yeah, that'll <laughs> help. Yeah. Well, thank you for listening and uh, tune in next time. I think this weekend we're going to have the broadcast uh, via the other app. And uh, uh, Zach Brennelmeyer sent out a link to that off the Booster Club. If, if you'd like to be a part of this, you can uh, go to Vista Ridge Baseball, uh, the, get on the Booster website, and you can get those links. Uh, this will be a different broadcast, though. It will not be off this bite broadcast. It will be off of his, like, the previous tournaments. If you want to be a part of that, get on the Booster Club and sign up. You'll get the email notifications with the schedule and everything else. I'm Mike Coggle. And I'm Bob Leach. Thank you for tuning in.